Hey, cheers. Join me down here on the ground in my basement. <laughs> oh, man. Grab your umbrella because it's raining records. Yes, raining records. Um, the other day, I was at my son's store. And if those of you that may already know, those of you that don't know, my son works at a record store in Princeton, West Virginia. They sell new and used records, CDs, games, movies, and uh, they buy gold. Uh, a lot of people bring stuff in there to sell. And one of the policies that they have is like the employees, they buy, sell all day long games, CDs, whatever. But when it comes to vinyl, the boss, the owner of the store has final say. It's like if somebody brings records in, he has to look at them, he grades them, he prices them and makes an offer to whoever brought them in. And then he prices them after that. Some he sells online, some he sells in the stores. So, let me back up a little bit. My son was telling me last week that this guy had been coming by saying that he had several boxes of records that he was wanting to sell. And Jonathan told him, says, well, I cannot give you any money for them. I cannot buy them off of you because of the policy. You could either leave them here and with your phone number, and when the boss looks at him, he'll give you a call and make an offer. Or you could just come back in a few days. So, <clears throat> anyway, I was there visiting my son at the store while he was working, and this guy shows up. And he walks in the door and says, Hey, uh, is the boss here? I've got a bunch of records I want him to look at. Jonathan says, no, the boss is not here. The same story. You could either leave him here or bring him back in a few days when he's here. And the guy was saying, man, I really want to get rid of these. Uh, so he looked around. There was like two or three customers in the shop. And he said, hey, anybody want, to, want some, some records cheap? Of course, you know, bing, <laughs> okay, so um, I uh, go out to his uh, car, he's got a little SUV out there, uh, apparently he was in kind of a hurry, his wife was sitting uh, at the steering wheel and the engine was running and they had a, uh, they had a small child in a car seat that was like really agitated and he opened up the back of his SUV and immediately I was hit by that Salvation Army basement corner record smell. You know what I'm talking about. It's like, oh man. I said, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> he had two cardboard boxes and then he had just some albums that were just laying in the back of his SUV, just, just stacked. And uh, he said, he said, you know, these would be nice to, to get like about a buck a piece for him. I started looking through there and finding things like Rod McEwen. Look how dust, dusty that is. And uh, I was telling him, I said, man, I hate to tell you, but a lot of these records aren't even worth a buck. I doubt if some of these uh, you could even get rid of. So he said, I'd really like to get rid of them. Uh, I said, how about 50 bucks for the whole bunch? So I started looking through there. And, uh, you know, something, you know, Peter Gunn, Henry Mancini. Okay, it didn't look too bad. Some Poco, but it's still, it's got the shrink wrap on it, but it's dusty. And uh, I said, I don't know, man. I, I I don't really have 50 bucks on me right now. Would you be interested in selling some? Uh, just, you know, if I could pick out a few of them. He said, yeah, maybe uh, I can negotiate with you, but I'm in kind of a hurry. I really want to get rid of them. He said, how about 30 bucks? I said, oh. So I started looking. I found some cool stuff. Here's some spoken word 
Records, Basil Rathbone, Reed's Edgar Allan Poe, and look at this one, J.R.R. Tolkien, Poems and Songs of Middle Earth. Oh, wow, I thought, man, that, that's cool. And then I looked some, some more, and I found, like, hey, this is Queen, A Day at the Races, Don McLean. I'm just looking through there, found a few things, some, some hip-hop, some 90s hip-hop on vinyl. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'm buying a pig and a poke. And then I looked some more, and then I, I saw, this is what got me. I looked in there, and I found this. Project Infinity, conducted by Man or Astro Man. All right. <laughs> I thought, wow, okay. Um, I said, dude, $25 is all I've got. So he said, he started carrying them over to my truck. He said, yeah, okay, that's fine. You can have them all for 25 bucks. All right, I got my wallet and I was short. <laughs> so I had to go in the store. Asked my son, say, uh, hey, could you loan me loan me a few bucks? And he loaned me 15 bucks. And I went and paid the guy 25 bucks and we loaded him up. And as I was leaving, I, I told my son, I said, I hope I haven't bought a pig and a poke. And um, he said, nah, you probably did good. So uh, I won't go through all of this. There's approximately 200 albums here. Uh, a lot of these are typical thrift store junk records. You know, this Partridge Family. You know, it's kind of cool. Uh, you know, just. But, oh, here's a neat one. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> right? That one may be pretty handy. So, um,. Uh, had some of these these are pretty interesting here these gospel albums that are colored vinyl i don't know if you can see that red there's there's a couple of them here one of them's red vinyl one's blue vinyl kind of dirty but pretty interesting but then <laughs> all right let me back up a little bit me, hold on this is going to let me move in a little bit all right let me see. Oops. All right, that's as good as it's going to get. All right. I won't go through these. I won't waste too much of your time. Association's Greatest Hits. James Taylor, Sweet Baby James. This one's for my wife. The box was shattered, but George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. Manford Man. Featuring Do Why Diddy Diddy. John Prine's first album. A copy of uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Here's a couple of Beatles records that did not have a cover, but I cleaned them and they played just fine. The Beatles again, otherwise known as Hey Jude. Here's a copy of Beatles 65. This was an upgrade for me. Adventures in Space. Awesome. And look here. The Ramones. Too Tough to Die. You tell me that's not a cool find. A copy of Asia by Steely Dan. Look how clean that is. You can pull it out a little bit. And the, the album is, is VG Plus, if not near mint. Dreamboat Annie by Hart. This was a great find here. The Who. Who better, who best. The hype stickers on there. It's got some writing on it because this was a uh, promotional copy. It's still got the uh, gold stamp on there with a bunch of radio station writing. But the vinyl on here looked like it was never even played. It was mint. Got some Exotica Fire Goddess. I mean, you gotta look this cover. Fire Goddess. Isn't that a really, really cool uh, Exotica cover? Beautiful. 
I just had to show that one. All right, here's a, a warning. Uh, any of you that are afraid of clowns, bozo on the farm. <laughs> Some gospel, dust and ashes. I'm not too familiar with that. Now this, I was surprised to find. R.L. Burnside. This is like a 1998 pressing. In excellent shape. Look at that. I had uh, heard R.L. Burnside mentioned a few times in some uh, VC videos. Star Wars soundtrack. Oh, these are pretty cool here. Miko, the Wizard of Oz. Man, this is some... These guys had to have been doing some major drugs when they made this album. You can see that beautiful yellow vinyl. I mean, this is trippy, synthesized, disco era version of The Wizard of Oz. Here's some cool uh, 10 inches. The Meat Puppets. Raw Meat. And look here. This is El Vez. A lad from Spain or from Mexico. And I'm going to show you this. It's autographed. TCB, baby. Elvis, 99. Cool. Butthole surfers. Brown reason to live. You got to check this out. Look at that vinyl. Can you see that beautiful gray marble? The mighty boss tones. Don't know how to party. Check this vinyl. Clad picture disc, the mighty boss tones, and then it came with a, a bonus 10 inch. Look at this 10 inch mighty boss tones. Dig this double colored vinyl. I think I've already. Uh, the value has already surpassed 25 bucks on these. Here's Hungry for Stink L7. Beautiful blue vinyl. And this is uh, Split Ends. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but maybe if I, if I do it just right. It's a laser etched vinyl. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, you can kind of see that. This is, these are like 90s pressings, too. All right. Now, it's got some tape, but it's just on the shrink wrap. Okay, so tape is not on the actual cover. Look here, big black. Nothing painted blue. A lot of these things, I have no idea what they are. Robin Hitchcock. Now, this, this is a cool find. The Who face dances. All right, I'll speed up a little bit. Spatula. This is a 12-inch EP. No idea what it is. I'll find out. The Dead Milkmen. Come on and blast off country style. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like it might be punk. And these were nice. This is um, Waxworks by XTC, a double LP set. And this is um, Drums and Wires by XTC. Man, digging that. Oingo Boingo Live. Devo, Here to Go. This is a single. Here's some, looks like some gangster rap of some kind. This is... Uh, Dope stuff, or dope, yeah, dope. I have no idea what, I can't read that. Anyway, uh, Waxing Poetics. 
I'll speed it up. The Archers of Loaf. White Trash Heroes. The Coachmen. This is um, features members of uh, Sonic Youth. Thurston Moore. The Motels. The Blue Bells Sisters. Susie Quattro. The Funky Kings. Temple Tudor. I uh, have no idea what this is. Oh, here's nice. Neil Young after the gold rush. Crowded House. David Lee Roth with Steve Vai. The best of Elvis Costello. Emerson Lake and Palmer trilogy. Lord Boy, and this is still sealed. No idea what this is, but I'll be checking them out. Belinda Carlisle, Heaven on Earth. The Lemonheads. Hate Your Friends. This is a strange kind of private press thing here. Weird Paul, Low Fidelity, High Anxiety. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Violent Femmes. Check this. This is a French pressing of Melvin's gluey porch treatments. The John Spencer Blues Explosion. Not sure what this is, but I got a feeling it's probably punk. Fire Sign Theater. Waiting for the Electrician. Porgy. A lot of this stuff I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure it's valuable for some people. Brick Layer Cake. New Rock by a Buffalo Daughter. This is a two LP set. I believe this is a Japanese band. Scruffy the Cat. Squeeze. Oh, this. Uh, Pac-Man Fever. I finally, I've been wanting to get a copy of this for a long time. I finally found a copy that actually had the album that wasn't trashed. A lot of times I find these covers, but no album in there. A little bit of some fusion, maybe. Billy, uh, Billy Cobham, Crosswinds. Ah, oh, Public Image Limited. Happy, question mark. Yeah, some good stuff there. Tapehead Soundtrack. Out of Body Band, Roger Manning, Cottage Cheese from the Lips of Death. I love that title. I don't know if that's the band. It's a, a Texas hardcore comp. Oh, that's what it is. It's a comp of Texas hardcore bands. I love that title, Cottage Cheese from the Lips of Death. Kind of neat, neat kind of punk looking album. Uh, this is a, apparently a Leon uh, Ronaldo, apparently from Sonic Youth, an album of loops. Should be interesting. No idea what this is, The Investigator. Split Ends. Boomtown Rats. This is another sealed album. Varnaline or Varnerline. Sweet Life. ABBA, the album. This is great. It's got one of my favorite ABBA songs on here, Eagle. Love that. 
Mark Lindsay. You've got a friend. Uh, let's see what else we got there. Carol King. Julian Lennon. Mr. Nasty. 38 caliber kisses. I'd be interesting to uh, interesting to see what this is all about. I'm not sure if it's if it's rap or 80s hair metal. <laughs> Stormy Weekend, uh, the Mystic Moods Orchestra, Saturday Night Live. Uh, this is a comp of comedy skits from the first season. And uh, Len end up Lenny Bruce Carnegie Hall. This is just what I've gone through so far. Uh, I'm sure that probably half, if not more, of this I'll end up either selling or donating to Goodwill or the Salvation Army or giving it to some friends that might want it. But um, I just wanted to share that <laughs> that unexpected haul. It's just, you know, thank, thanks to the to the uh, gods of vinyl for blessing me with this. Uh, but I, as a disclaimer, any of these that are excessively moldy or dirty, I'm not going to donate. I'll either trash them or I'll get some uh, uh, Clorox wipes and try to clean them up a little bit before I donate them. Um, but that's just me. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to share this with you. <laughs> Peace.